Hey everyone, hope you all had a great weekend. Thanks for joining me on January 9th. And as always, we are not financial advisors and everything you see on here is for educational purposes only. All right, let's get started with the dollar. And as you can see, it failed the pattern. It actually dropped back down, right back down to support. Uh, we'll see how this holds. We still have that target of 110. And that again, these these have to fill eventually. So we'll see how, how it reacts you know, with the whole market and everything. But right now, it's dumping nicely. And we kind of saw a little bit of this because on Friday, I mentioned how if we close on this strong reversal fit right here, and we print a green candle it would do the exact same thing like last time because we did have this support area and i mentioned hey if we close near the top with this green candle it's going to close on a strong reversal fit, and that's going to push us outside of it which is the same thing that happened here and then we had this big pump so that's why i said hey get ready for some nice green days and here we are now the question now is you know where are we going to find our top? Right now, we broke through the fib overnight. So, I don't know. I, I still feel like it's, you know, we have to drop back down. And this could be part of the little fake out that I mentioned. It's still pretty small. Like, the fake out would have to be somewhere up here where I mentioned, like, there's a little trend uh, channel line is going, which is around, like, 17,800. So, we would have to push back a little bit higher for us to start doing the reverse for it to be that little fake out um this is kind of still in that range of this right like it's still kind of in that range because it's still in this little area that should have been down here but it's higher so it's in that range now so if we look at it this way oh come on you know it's in another little ranging area so if it drops below this then we can even go possibly go more sideways or begin to drop but right now i'm still waiting for our drop um you know once we close this fib line here i'm gonna remove that so it's not so cloud uh crowded so we knew we we're gonna head back up so now the catch is to catch the top because ultimately i did see us drop back down and remember the patterns don't fall perfectly in line but they you know but it's there so we can still push up a little bit more before dropping back down but what's interesting here is so this is poking a little like a little bit too much for my liking on the fib but when i look at the rest of the alts so for example like adam adam's had a great uh you know last two weeks and this is why i say don't sleep on adam like if we look at maddox maddox had a strong reversal fib at 0.893 so if we close on this it drops back down tomorrow um, and there's a lot of coins like that that are reversal fit. So it's kind of hinting, hey, the market looks to want, you know, want to reverse. But the key thing is we have to close below these numbers that I'm about to mention. So Matic, 8693. Uh, um, we have Ethereum at 1327 on a strong reversal fit as well. And there is a, um, a trend line here. So this could break it here. And here's the interesting thing. That's looking more like building like some sort of like flag pattern that either breaks down or breaks up hey so that's looking pretty interesting on ethereum although we still have our target of 1075 so if i don't like having that that specific target which is the second arrow the white fib i don't mind but that second arrow bugs me because if we go up then it's going to come all the way back down so i prefer to just go down now and knock it out the way because it's one of the few tar uh, targets that we have for these coins. Like when we look at Phantom, strong reversal fib at 0.2513. So if we close there, it drops back down. Near, near actually broke the rule, so it hasn't hit anything yet. And remember, we do have some nice little bullish targets on some of these coins. Some of them actually hit it today. I think it's zero. When we look at Doge, so now Doge is where it gets interesting. This is a white fib at 0.7876. So if Doge closes here, this signals that it's going to do a temporary reversal, but the mark, but Doge is still bullish, like temporary reversal and then head back up. If I look at Solana, Solana's done really good and it's so close to its uh, open target of 18.87. Um, right now it is on a strong reversal fib, so if we close here, it'll drop back down a bit at 17.04. 
I'm gonna look at dot it's not on anything just yet AVAX 1261 is the strong reversal phase that it's on so if it closes here it drops back down um, I've added uh, uh, Elron I believe it's called uh, because I'm tracking it on the to see if it's good for the trading bot now it's on a white fib as well, similar to Doge. So if it closes here, so if it closes below seven, uh, 37, 12, then it's gonna reverse back up. I mean, sorry, it'll reverse down and then reverse back up. Sorry, my cats are over here it's trying to start a fight. Let's see. So if we look at band, band broke a little bit over the strong, uh, strong reversal fib, but. That could still count, but it's really close, so that can e easily uh, still break through. It's doing pretty good today, 7. We got some really good numbers. And this is where I thought Saturday would be like, but it went into, you know, Sunday, Monday. Which is pretty odd. Usually Sunday, Mondays are pretty slow, but we do have those odd days. Um, let's see. XRP, strong reversal fib at 35.45. It's really, that's what the only catch though is everything is really, really close. Uh, like, for example, earlier, each bar was on the white fib, but it just broke through. So remember, we need to close on these fib lines for them to count. Like, if they're just resting on it now, it can still break through. Um, Algorand, white fib at 0.2081. So as you can see, we have a few white fibs, and this generally represents that, like, the market is still bullish. So we might reverse back down, but still push back up. So we'll see how we close today. Rose, um... A strong reversal fib at 0 0.04163. Oh no, 0 0.04153. We look at Shiba. Strong reversal fib at 901. Shiba's up from the middle. I think it was only up like 8%. Not too bad. When we look at IOTech, strong reversal fib at 0 0.02543. But again, it's right there and it looks like it's trying to. It like wants to break through so that can that definitely looks like it's about to break through and you know what I hope it I hope it does because then that can come back up and knock out this target so point point zero two two seven three so and it kind of makes sense right why everything's still pushing back up because we did and I'd mentioned a while back like hey we left a lot of these targets open so like it has to come back up um, I was hoping it would dump one last time though before everything pushed back up but Again, this is what I why I've always said, like right now is where you want a DCA. Don't wait for a bottom because again, we it, you could get left behind. I could be wrong and we this could be the bottom and everything ticks off and people are gonna be upset and it's gonna I'm gonna come back and be like, Well, this is why I said DCA. But I still feel we're gonna drop one more time. Don't worry. Uh, but it's on its way to, to that target. Now this is where it gets interesting. Luna Classic. Um, it's a little off the you know weak reversal fit but this is one of the few ones that's on a weak reversal fit so you know like hey these can break pretty easy i'm gonna remove this <sighs> sorry i had a yawn um we broke through the my my buying price so i did buy a little bit of luna again and this was the last time i was gonna buy some for those that remember you know i mentioned i've been buying every single dip i bought here here and i mentioned i wasn't gonna buy here because i don't know how that was gonna play out but i did want to buy here and that technically looks like it would be here so i bought it here we'll see how it works out and remember this was my last little huddle bag as well if it pumps i'm gonna sell the bags but if it dumps i'm just gonna hold on to them because i wanted to buy a little bit more just to even out um what i have you know i like to have everything kind of like rounded up so i don't like having four thousand or something i want to have five thousand i don't want to have you know 150 i want to have you know 200 like round it to the nearest so that's the reason i want to buy a little bit more luna uh data strong reversal fib at 0.823 so if we close there we head back down so zill hit its target so that's hit nicely there that's a nice little pump and this is how i feel like a lot of these coins are right here and then their target is up there so they might push up one more time and as you can see like a lot of these coins here like look at waves strong reversal fib at 1.667 they go today I, that's as far as i went um, but you can see like a lot of coins are on strong reversal fib so they are they are at a spot where if we close here they will head back down but the day is still early and we can break above so if we break above that the market would still be bullish for us to have that like fake out 
a real fake out, it would actually have to come all the way back up. I mean, it could be like 17,500 maybe. You know, it would be like this, up, comes down. Yeah, it would have to be like the 17,800, that little uh, fib line I mentioned uh, a while back. But for right now, we'll see how we end up closing. Again, we're not on any strong reversal fibs on BTC, but the rest of the market is at a point where it could reverse. Uh, the day is still early, so that can still push back down. But, you know, at least we knew we were going to head back up, and all of this is uh, not a surprise to everybody. You know, I mentioned we're going to have some nice green days. Not too bad. You know what I mean? We do have some in, like, the 20s, 14s, uh, another 14, Adam 7. We have some 2s around here, like XRP, Near, Phantom, Ethereum, in the 2s. I don't think we had anything that really, really blew up. At least not yet. But we'll see. Maybe Luna comes through and it does give us that nice, you know, huge pump that we were kind of looking for. You know, all the little spots are hitting there. So I could actually change this to... Um, where's my little triangle thing? Like, like it's... Hitting that, then I need this to be here. Perfect. Yeah. But the, the thing about this though, is based on how like, I wish I can grab this. Oh, come on. And then kind of like rotate it like a little bit like that downward right because that's how like the pattern is playing but it's downward so if this they're making the video too long where, where am i at it's 12 minutes it's a little long so if this, oh come on if this is way up here compared to this or oh, back here this is going to be like here Like, it's going to be, like, there to that. Like, that's how big the pump will be. So, we'll get to, like, we have three zeros. Three. So, we'll get to somewhere, like, here, which is, like, about a 100% pump. So, it's not. it might not be, like, the great pump we want. But it's still 100%. Um, and to be honest, I don't know if I'll sell. If it only does 100%, I don't know. Because you guys see it, right? How it's like we're going to go in like a downward trend. So then this is going to be a lot shorter. Because this didn't move all the way up. Like this top here is not all the way up here. That top there is like way down here. So this pump that we're going to get might not be as great as we thought it would be. But again, still, I'll take 100%. You know, I'm sure. I know there's a few people who are in it to trade it so if they get a hundred percent off this trade you know it's gonna be pretty good for them but other than that uh that's pretty much it for today we got our green days that we talked about on friday and now we just now we just got to find our top we got to wait to see how we close with all the alts if we all close here this could be our top this could be our area like you know these little squares here i'm actually going to copy this this could be here and technically, like, this is where we would be at, right? Like, this little area here. That's where that would be at. Like, we had a big spike, came back down, pushed back up, and then we have a nice little drop. On top of that, remember, we just entered the sideways year, so this could have been the bottom. And we just go sideways. We can drop down, go back up, come back down, go back up, come back down, go back up. I never really touch this. We just go sideways. We have some nice ups and downs. And this is what I mean. Like, we need to expect moves like that. Like, oh, is everything's up. Oh, everything's down again. Oh, everything's up. Oh, everything's down again. But it's better than, oh, everything's down again. Oh, everything's down again. Oh, we're down again. Oh, look, we crashed again. Oh, we're down again. Right? At least it's going to be to a point where it's like, you know, Adam will be $11. Way higher than what it was earlier, which was like, you know, eight into nines 
and then it dumped all the way back down and then all the way back up again and then it dumped all the way back down so we'll see overall adam is just gr such a great coin <laughs> i think this refuses to drop back down um but every time it's under ten dollars, uh, I I know I say it's a good time to buy. Every time it's above ten bucks, you might you might want to wait a little bit. But all right, that's pretty much it for today. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions, and I'll update everybody uh, later on today to see where we close. All right, this is where I do my ads. So if you're already in my group, you guys don't have to watch this part. But if you're someone that's looking to get more information on the market and what's going on, I do have a paid Discord. Uh, if I click on the button right here for Kofi. Um, I have a few tiers. My first tier, Market vid uh, Outlook Videos. This gives you access to all the YouTube videos I do. Um, I only post Monday's update, you know, to the public. I post uh, Tuesday through Friday, which is private. Sometimes I do some on the weekends too, if like the market's going really crazy. Right now, the market's been pretty chill, so I haven't, I've just been doing the basic uh, Monday through Friday. From there, the next step up, we have peace of mind. And this one gives you the market update videos. It gives you Discord access and signal alerts. And the reason I call this peace of mind is because you do get access to all the information that's on the Discord and the market updates. So you can kind of see what's going on with the market. You won't be surprised. Like, oh my God, the market dumped today. Like, yeah, we kind of already saw that. You know, you'll see that in this group. Nobody here is fumbling. Nobody's here is shocked, surprised. You know, everyone's more calm, relaxed. You know, it's a good little community. Uh, we have a bunch of little options that we have here. We post news, uh, what people are buying. We have group zooms, uh, area for hidden gems, uh, ways to do passive income. And this is where I post my daily market updates so everybody can see it. We have a little chat dedicated just for, you know, the cryptos. Um, I do have signal alerts. So we, um, I do send out messages on the signal app. Um, I try to keep it away from like Discord and Telegram because everybody has those and they have a bunch of different rooms. I want to have an app separately that if you get a notification from this app, I mean, something big is happening in cryptos, you know, so you get that, you're not surprised, right? I've sent out a bunch of messages before, right before like big dumps have happened. So nobody was surprised. And that's why I call it the peace of mind. The next one up is Edge. And the reason I call it Edge is you get the same as, you know, before the market update videos, Discord access, signal alerts. But you also get, uh, you can request charts and you have trading calls and you have uh, two Zoom sessions with me. The Zoom sessions are actually really cool because we can go over, you know, your portfolio, uh, coins that you're interested. You know, some people just like to be able to vent. You know, we are in a, in a bull, uh, bear market. It's been tough, you know, these last couple months. Uh, so there's a lot we can do with that. Uh, we do have some trade calls where I do post uh, trades there. We have our own little trade uh, little group where it has the actual trade um, calls and it has like the chat so we can go over that. Um, on top of that, we can even request charts. So we have a section over here where, you know, members can request certain coins. So let's say you go into another group and they're talking about this coin and it's pumped and you're hyped up and you want to jump in too. I can go in there and review that coin to let you know like, hey, you know what? It still has a lot of potential or you know what? This looks like it's at the top. I wouldn't get in. And you'll be surprised how many times I've saved people from getting into coins that other people made them FOMO in just because they had a big pump. You know, a lot of people think... In a bear market, they think like it's going to still keep pumping and pumping and pumping like it is in a bull market. It doesn't. A lot of times like, hey, look, this is pretty much done. Um, one of my previous ones was with Atlas. You know, we mentioned, hey, you know, this could be a top. And we were around this area here where I mentioned like, oh, you know what? This is like technically where you want to get out. Oops, little magnets in its way. If I can fix it a little bit. You know, like this is where you would want to get out and have a buy order at the top in case it breaks through the fib. So, you know, you'll be kicked right, right back in and you take off with it. But since then, it's dropped about, you know, 25%. This is technically where you would, you know, want to buy back in. And now you just made 25% more. Um, and, and that's like the, the beauty of like being able to request those charts. Um, I have another tip, but that one's already full. And that one just gives you more Zoom sessions. Um, another thing I do offer, if we scroll back down, um, I do have a trading course that I have. Um, I'm no longer doing the personal ones just because I'm booked on a lot of, you know, Zooms and other things. Um, but I do have my video out right now. So let's say, you know, we're going to go into a sideways market. So one of the ways you're going to make a lot of money now is 
to be able to trade. And even if you're a complete beginner, I go over, you know, real big uh, essentials that you really need to learn because there's a lot of trade uh, videos out there on YouTube that are free. Uh, and there's a lot of videos out there to show you how to trade that are paid and they go up to the thousands of dollars. And one thing I've noticed with a lot of these, they always miss out like little simple things, right? They just, they just pretty much give you like the indicators, the setup and here, go trade it. But there's a lot more to that, um, a lot more. Um, so I have that course there if anyone's ever interested. And other than that, that's pretty much it. So I will see you guys in the Discord.